Honestly, I've been thinking for quite some time that I was very unhappy with what I was doing. Uh, this phase came into my life post May I Come In Madam and I was like not happy with what I was doing. Hmm. Um, somewhere down the line, to be honest, I didn't have the courage to say no. There has been my past relationship where I was all out about it and um, I was not in the Hindi industry then. I was more predominantly working in Marathi industry where I was seriously dating a guy and we were supposed to get married and all of that. They were more than happy that after all the trauma that, that I had endured that I'm dating someone. <laughs> yeah. Because they had almost given up hopes. Um, about you. Yeah, yeah, they had given up hopes. Rather, I only told them that, you know, don't be surprised if I don't get married because, you mm. know, um, I'm becoming, I'm, I'm liking this independent uh, woman. Yeah. Or I'm, and I'm liking this whole fact that uh, I don't need someone to complete me. Which mm. stands hold even today. Mm -hmm. Sitting beside me and glowing like never before is Neha Paintse who has weighed her way through a lot of industry, not just Hindi or Marathi. Kafi Big Boss mein jane ke baad to aap kafi waise bhi chha gaye the. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Pink Villa Neha. Thank you so and much. Thank Bata. you so much for your time. It looks like marriage is really done good on you. You'll blow It's agreeing with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, firstly I want to know like you know you you earlier we have seen you do a lot of projects and you know kafi humne dekha hai ki kafi time matlab you were doing something or the other. Now I feel you are more restrained and you are like, you know, more composed as to what you want to do. You're more clear as to, you know, what you want to pick up and what you don't want to do specifically. Uh, how has this transition been? What has helped this transition? Honestly, I've been thinking for quite some time that I was very unhappy with what I was doing. Uh, this phase came into my life post May I Come In Madam and I was like not happy with what I was doing. Hmm. Um, somewhere down the line to be honest, I didn't have the courage to say no. Right. Because as actors we are very insecure, hmm. you know, we, uh, we are independent, we have to take care of ourselves and we have uh, stuff to do around. And I didn't have the courage to say no. मुझे ये बात ज़्यादा खल रही थी before Big Boss that why am I saying yes to things I'm not happy about? Right. So I guess post Big Boss I don't know from where but I just got that courage to say no and I think that little act of courage is showing little benefits because although 2019 में मैंने कुछ भी काम नहीं किया था लेकिन towards the end of 2019 मैंने एक बहुत खूबसूरत फिल्म शूट की है मराठी फिल्म uh, June, which I can easily say my best work. We can't wait, wait to watch it actually. Yes, I, I can't wait for you to see it. Yeah, uh, but you know, I really wanted to know when it comes to you mentioned that you know, as actors, most of them are insecure. What what was that point where you thought that you know, I'm gonna let go of this insecurity and you were like you know okay with whatever offers you were getting and you were much more secure comparatively. You know, as actors. Um, and especially as women, we do have a certain standard of living. Right. Uh, there is a certain kind of way that we live and it comes with a certain standard and standard requires a lot of money. Mm. You cannot deny that. Um, when I was disheartened to that level, when I said that I do not mind com uh, compromising on my standard of living, right. but I am not going to work because it's giving me money and nothing right. else. Hmm. I think that breaking point uh, when it came, I said let Big Boss happen and huh. after Big Boss, I'm not going to do anything. Hmm. That's actually a very conscious and brave decision because I feel for an actress to take that decision is very difficult. It's very difficult. Because uh, however hard it is or however easy it is to live that lifestyle and to be in public domain all the time, you have to keep up that image, you know. But at the same time, I would also like to point out that I've never been a girl of a very extraordinary lifestyle. Hmm. I mean, aisa nahi hai ki roz raat ko mujhe party karni hai. Hmm. Um, I have no vices. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke. Right. Uh, I hate la late nights. I don't socialize. Okay. These are the places You're where... You're inspired by twinkle khanna basically. Is it? Okay. <laughs> they don't do late nights. Yeah, night. yeah. And I mean, I have this habit for many, many years being a part of a Brahmin household. Subha chhe baje ut jao. And okay. yeah, so I, I mean, it's, it's yeah. in my system. Why is it that it's been a struggle for you to get that right project? Um, I think mostly I am responsible to be honest mm -hmm. because I don't reach out to people. Hmm. Um, um, I, I was just asked this question recently that um, how do you think, <laughs> what do you think of your career? And I'm like, um, 
looking at the kind of lack of efforts i have <laughs> i am i am I'm very <laughs> i'm very glad that i've come to here because i don't have a godfather huh. i i have no social skills uh, i will not go out to any premiere or any party or uh, socialize with people and do hello hello i am here hmm. uh, and yet i am here so that's kind of an achievement only it's it's yeah. sad achievement <laughs> i mean i know that if I, yeah. i if i took that little effort to just come out and let people know that i exist yeah. i believe that i can do a lot more uh, work so which is exactly what i have been doing now i mean it's it's still i have to mentally prepare myself to you know reach out hmm. to people but um, i think i'm doing that now coming to your relationship and your marriage i mean <laughs> i have already in the beginning only i told you that you know it's looking good on you yeah. you've been going tell me uh, why keep it a secret is only because um, i'm not a kind of person who likes to hide i'm someone who will call spade a spade but unfortunately uh, relationships are very sensitive and um, there has been my past relationship where i was all out about it and um, i was not in the hindi industry then i was more predominantly working in marathi industry where i was seriously dating a guy and we were supposed to get married and all of that and that didn't happen hmm. so um uh, th- th- I would not call it jinxed um I would just say that it was not meant to be hmm. but then you know the whole um, embarrassment that comes through with it ki oh she was dating someone and that didn't happen right. because again I'm not a kind of person who jumps in and out of, out of relationships very soon if I am that was my first relationship in fact and came pretty late in my life hmm. but <laughs> but uh, and then I don't take it in a very right way because hmm. I invest a lot in that in um, or any relationship in, for that yeah. matter uh, so I was like unless it's not happening for real i'm not letting it out yeah because anything can go wrong at any point and i have and i've dealt with it already yeah so yeah. were you all were you cynical about love before yes how did you overcome that had not uh, had he not been the man i would have still been that um, cynical stupid woman uh, because <laughs> i have been um, uh, badly hurt and uh, not been treated so well uh, in my mm-hmm. relationships Uh, before him and um, there's an absolute lack of trust and um, absolute um, uh, not very high regard uh, for love uh, or for men uh, but um, i guess this man just what was that moment when you thought that you know i'm sure a lot of people must have asked you this but i really want you know because someone who is very cynical of love it take it does take a lot to finally say yes no 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 because What what are you why are you cynical? Hmm. You're cynical because your trust has been broken. Yeah. You're cynical because promises were made and not uh um, maybe you're scared of heartbreak again. Correct. Yeah. Uh if a man does exactly all of that. Like with me and Shardul, I told Shardul so when Shardul first asked me to date him, I was like, dude, I'm done with it. Yeah, I, I'm not in the dating game. Yeah, I, I'm just not in that zone. Yeah. And you know what like No, no, but I want to date you. I said, Are you ready to commit to me right now? <laughs> He's like, Yeah. Huh. I'm like, Dude, I'm. I, this is serious. This hmm. is no some bullshitting. He's like, What do you want me to talk to your mom? And then you realize that when he said you want to talk to your mom, and I'm like, Wait, I need time <laughs> because this is happening too fast. Yeah, yeah. So because you are so scared yeah. because. what happens see like typically what happens in a relationship is first we'll see how it figures out yeah. and then if it goes well then the parents will be involved until the time the parents and both the guys are not sure yeah. so, that's true that happens so, yeah that yeah. happens yeah. and then i'm like dude now pehle parents <laughs> it's like nandi se pehle me or shiva yeah. shiva bhagwan ka pehle you know darshan hona hai uske baad hi uh, baki sab hona hai so when he said that and i was like um okay great so now which means that obviously you're not scared of uh, <laughs> commitment yeah. yeah so i was like uh, he was like listen neha uh, i know that you've been through some really shitty patches and um, um i'm here i said whatever you want me to do i'm here you know neha whenever you get into a, i mean i'm talking about the phase when you probably thought that okay fine if he's insisting let's try this the uh, relationship out as as uh, as a girl or a woman you know you are little and especially if you have had a bad phase earlier yeah. you make it a point at least in your head that you won't repeat the same mistakes perhaps which you did in the past relationship yes, yes. do you have was there anything at all which was a clear no no like you know uh, i'm taking a reference from a movie which is to come right now thappad hmm. jahan pe it's like you know uh, that girl takes a stand saying that 
he cannot hit me correct physical violence that was yeah. like hmm. the thing for her correct whether you are in love you're not in love doesn't matter you cannot hit me correct so was it anything that one thing which was a deal breaker for you oh there are a lot of deal breakers why one yeah. <laughs> no but if you, because i'm sure there must be a lot but because you are entering into a new relationship you just make sure in your head that like you know i'm never going to do i will never let that thing happen to me again okay yeah so uh, although uh, in my past relationships uh, physical violence is something that i never endured hmm. uh, but yes that is a no brainer and something which need not even uh, be mentioned that a physical or a domestic violence is a strict no and an absolute deal breaker but i think that been a very a serious subject besides that also i believe day to day things also um, there are a lot of things like for example i have always been a very career oriented woman yeah. i would want a man to appreciate that yeah. uh, it is my decision that i want to slow down yeah. but tomorrow if let's say great opportunities are coming my way and i have sacrificed a couple of uh, months by not working for that great opportunity i'm not going to stop that right you know so uh, with shardul i think um, uh, it i think i don't even think i had to mention it to him hmm. that i'm always going to be a career oriented woman so i think even uh, uh, being able to work hmm. uh, i think was a biggest uh, thing and i think also respecting individuality hmm. uh, because we two we both of us are very different individuals he's someone who will uh, get up aram se in the morning yeah. i'm still the 6 a.m girl, 6 girl uh, yeah. he loves to socialize he loves to parties he loves to mingle and i'm none of that and opposite attracts me absolutely <laughs> really yeah, like yeah. like pulls apart pulls yeah. apart yeah. but um, i think that's where it comes through where i don't tell him that do don't party and he doesn't tell me that you know do don't work yeah so uh, respecting each this, other's space space absolutely yeah. and i think that's very important right and what like you know do you remember the time when he proposed what was going on in your head at that time and what made you finally say yes like ki acha theek hai chalo let's do it apart from the tarike se propose kiya tha na बेरहम लड़की होगी जो मना करेगी आई वॉज लाइक सो वॉट हैपन वॉज इट इट वॉज अ वेरी रोमांटिक एंड अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड द बेस्ट अ मैन कुड एवर मेक मी फील सो ही टोल मी दैट नेहा सो एंड सो डेट जस्ट तैयार होके आ जाना वे योर गुड ड्रेस वे बेस्ट ड्रेस एंड जस्ट कम लाइक ओके एंड ही हैड कॉल्ड मी टू ताज कोलाबा एंड ही वॉज वेटिंग दर एट द पॉच एंड विथ फ्लावर्स एंड ऑल एंड आई वॉज लाइक कुछ हो and i was like okay and then he took me um, to the club up there uh, where i was entering and again there was these, these couple of staff standing and they're like you know past three four days we've really been working hard on this and i really hope you like it and i was like okay i said no more drama <laughs> and then, then um, i i went inside and there was a beautiful gazebo there was live music there was um, in uh, the gate away of india right there okay. in front of me and um, it was a beautiful night and he knows that i'm a health freak to pura diet wala menu and all of that <laughs> and the you know, whole jazz and all um, romantic music is playing and stuff like that and i was like i said tonight is the night i said i'm just waiting for the moment now yeah. so i'm like he, he pulled the chair out for me and i was just you know just making sure my dress was correct and i looked at him and he was right down there and he just pulled out the ring and he was like i love you will you marry me and i was like yes instantly instantly yeah but and he was like thank god ha bolo i was like, i was so nervous i was so nervous and yeah. i was like okay okay i said ha eat your food fast there's something more <laughs> <laughs> i was like what now what more yeah. so i was like he just took me and he had called 20 uh, a uh, friend couple okay. um, of him and they were all seeing the drama upar se at the banquet hall they were waiting for us hmm. and um, we just were and it was an absolute surprise for me and then they all welcomed me hmm. and i met his family and i met his friends who were like his family and i said how cool is this guy yeah 
He, he just, literally swept you off your feet, basically. He did. He and did. how did you tell your parents about this, and what was their reaction like? Um, so um, uh, they obviously knew the fact that I was uh, going around with Shardul, mm. and um, they were more than happy that after all the trauma that, that I had endured, that I'm dating someone. <laughs> yeah. Because they had almost given up hopes um, about okay. you. Yeah, yeah, they had given up hopes. Rather, I only told them that you know, don't be surprised if I don't get married because you mm. know, um, I'm becoming, I'm, I'm liking this independent uh, woman yeah. or I'm, and I'm liking this whole fact that uh, I don't need someone to complete me which mm. stands hold even today mm -hmm. um, so um, so they were happy that um, uh, I was dating Shardul and Shardul had met my parents mm. and uh, there was an like an unsaid um, uh, we are okay but you guys yeah, figure out <laughs> yeah. thank you so much Neha for talking to us yeah. and have a lovely lovely day ahead and you also too. we are looking forward to see you back on screen very very soon. Yes, thank you so much and it was a pleasure talking to you. Hi, this is Neha Painse and if you like this interview, please like, share and subscribe Pink Villa.